So here I'm showing a live video recording of the My Solar Edge monitoring app. You can tell by the color of the clouds it's getting into dusk. So we're currently generating 200 watts. The house is using 300 watts and we can see 100 watts is coming from the battery. So a nice display there of showing what the battery is doing and the solar PV working with the house. Running along the bottom, we've actually got a few different icons here. And if I'm going to click on the bottom in the middle, we've got the battery icon. So I click on the battery icon. And then what we can see here is battery mode. Now, when I click on battery mode, at the moment, it may be selected as maximize self-consumption. But now there's a couple of new features on the My Solar Edge app. One of those which you'll probably see right now is called time of use. And the one down the bottom is manual control as well. This is a new feature which is coming into the My Solar Edge app very shortly. So for the time of use, we simply click on time of use. And then we click edit settings. Once we click edit settings, we then have the opportunity to type in the add peak hour range. If I click on the add peak hour range, now I know that I have cheap energy between 12 midnight through to 4 a.m. in the morning. So my peak range is 4 a.m. in the morning through to 12 o'clock the following day. So if I just go on to 12 o'clock and we can see it displays there next day. Click on the time. That's it. I then have the opportunity to choose which days of the week. So is it every day of the week or perhaps it's only during the week and Saturday and Sunday are different. I can then select and deselect what I want to do. Again, months of the year, if it's every month of the year, that's what we're doing. Top right hand corner, I then click set. Once I click set, we can now see I've just typed in my new range of 4 a.m. Uh, all the way through to 12 a.m. the following day. Then if I then top right hand corner again, I then click save. And then once I've clicked save, what's happening is there's an algorithm behind the time of use. So during the day, the excess solar will still go to the battery as normal, which is maximize self-consumption. But then overlying it as well, we have the time of use, which essentially has an algorithm which knows how much power you've used over the night or, or during the day over the last seven days. So this is a rolling um, algorithm so it, it knows how much power you've used over the last seven days. It also knows what the weather is doing tomorrow as well and then it also knows how much power is in your battery. So if for example overnight we're actually only going to use two kilowatt hours because that's what we do as an average over the last seven days and actually we've got four kilowatt hours in our battery the battery won't charge overnight because you've got enough power in the battery to support you through to the following day. If you use seven kilowatt hours overnight and you've only got four kilowatt hours in your battery, then the battery will then charge to actually accommodate that power. So this is the time of use. The third option down the bottom, as I've mentioned, is coming is called manual control. So again, it's a very similar situation. We click on manual control. It then provides you with uh, some information there about the self-consumption data that won't be displayed. So we go, OK, got it. So we want to set the manual control. Now, setting the manual control, we have the add, sh schedule, uh, add charging schedule. So we click on add charging schedule. We want to start, we just want to charge our battery between 2 a.m. And we want to stop charging the battery at 4 a.m. And we want to do this every day of the week. And we want to do it every month of the year. We then press set. And then every day and every evening, every day of the year for 365 days, that battery will charge between two o'clock to four o'clock. We also have the opportunity here for discharging schedule as well. So here again, we can click add discharging schedule. And let's say, for example, we want to discharge the power onto the grid between seven o'clock. And perhaps we want to discharge it to eight o'clock for one hour because we're actually going to get paid for the energy we put onto the grid. Again, we have this opportunity every day of the week, every month of the year. Top right hand corner, we click on set. So what we've done now is we've got uh, charging the battery between 2 and 4 a.m. So two hours of charge from the grid and then discharging between 7 and 8 o'clock in the evening. Top right hand corner, we click save. Once that's saved, we're now taking control. This is the manual control for the time of use. So just to clarify here, the maximized self-consumption is just excess during the day. The time of use and the manual control will always take the excess during the day, but overlaying that as well with, with the time of use 
algorithm, it smartly controls the battery on how much your usage is. And then the manual control is simply charging or discharging when it's convenient for you.